All right, guys, Jim and I back with another video and a little uh, bit of trivia for you guys today. Who remembers the phone number for the WCW hotline? All right, I'll give you five seconds because I got the shit memorized. All right, five, four, three, two, one. All right, did you remember what it was? 1-900-909-9900. 1-900-909-9900. Do you guys remember the epic WCW hotline uh, with Scheme Gene? <laughs> that was some of the funniest stuff I'd ever seen in uh, 96 when WWF was so pissed off at WCW, they decided to bring out the Huckster and the Nacho Man and uh, Scheme Gene, you know, running the hotline. Um, actually, believe it or not, I called the WCW hotline once and, uh, you know, me and Gene would come on, uh, uh, you know, whatever, the pay-per-views or WCW Saturday night, and he would, he would say stuff like, what former World Wrestling Federation star has just signed a contract with World Championship Wrestling? And so you were intrigued by it, right? And so you would call the hotline up, and you would get whatever extension you want, and then you would hear, <laughs> it was such a con, you would never hear... Um, what wrestler was interested in, in coming to WCW? You would get some pre-recorded ass conversation um, that me and Gene had with some preliminary wrestler, you know, backstage about some match coming up. I mean, every once in a while on the hotline, you would get Ric Flair doing a pre-recorded thing, talking about a match, but you would never truly get the inside info from the WCW hotline. The WC WCW hotline was a total fraud. I, I swear, one time uh, when I was a kid, I called up the WCW hotline and I stayed on that bitch for like seven, eight minutes waiting to find out what WWF star is coming over to WCW. And all I, I got was pre recorded mumbo jumbo from me and Gene talking about the show that night. And uh, I was so pissed. And then, of course, you know, I was just a little kid. I was like 13 or 14. My dad, you know, a month later, gets the phone bill sees that I'm calling 900 uh, numbers on his credit card and gets pissed and I get in trouble for that shit. And, and I, you know, the advertisement was 99 cents for the first minute, 149 for each additional minute or whatever it was. And it totally didn't work out that way because if I'm not mistaken, when we got that bill from the WCW hotline, it was, I was on for eight minutes and it was like, 17 or 18 bucks because they charged you a connection fee and I didn't know that they charged you a connection fee just from getting through it was like 349 connection fee or something like that but yeah the WCW hotline was not good information at all um, but you guys got to remember the WCW hotline was there before we had internet so back then you know you would call the hotline to see what wrestler from WWF was coming over but now you just jump on the internet, whatever, you know, watch the YouTube videos and everyone knows because it's on the dirt sheet. There was no dirt sheets. Mean Gene was the original dirt sheet uh, with his WCW hotline, even though it was an epic fail. So I'm curious, what do you guys remember about the WCW hotline and did you ever call it? Just curious. Thank you for listening. I'm Gemini. Have a good one.